Burton. Katie, what a lovely surprise. Hola. It all depends on how you handle the experience. I mean, fair play, it hurts the first time you do it, but after that, the body adapts, doesn't it, Jacqueline? Oh, yes. Oh, Katie, you're all wet. We were just talking about yoga. You were thinking about that at one point, weren't you? Oh, I think we will go for that walk. If you come up to our room before dinner, we'll show you a few positions, if you like. No, thank you. It's impressive stuff. First time I saw Jacqueline's extended triangle, I was lost for words. Hi. How's your little girl? Hope you don't mind me asking. No, no, she's uh, she's all right, thanks. She's just taking it easy. Yes, yes, quite right. Will you be down Neptune's later? It'll be a good one. It's Mal Jolson tonight. <laughs> Mal Jolson? Tribute to the South. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, yes. Great act. Personal friend of ours. Known him for years. He's very big on the costas. Blanca, Rama. Quite big in other places, too, if you know what I'm saying. He's a big lad. All right. Hmm. Big old boy he is. Big, big lad. Yep. Big old penis. Oh, yeah. Wife can't get enough of him. Do you mean you let him shag your wife? Is that what you mean? Well, when you've got prime steak indoors, why let your friends eat burgers out in the cold? I don't think my mates are that hungry. I'm Donald, and this is Jacqueline. Oh, I'm Madge. Madge, lovely name. Enjoying your holiday, Madge. Oh, yes, lovely bit of sun. You don't get this in Manchester. Oh, is that where you're from, Manchester? Well, not originally, but it's where we live now. Uh, we used to travel down to Manchester. We had a couple of musician friends, Keith and Eunice Piggott. You might have heard of them, the Blue Notes. No. Do you mean the ink spots? No, no, the Blue Notes. Uh, very big on the Belgian jazz scene. Uh, they were a lovely, broad-minded couple, weren't they? Oh, yes. We did a lot of very good home movies with them. Yes, very versatile couple. That would be when late 60s? Oh, I was in my prime then, the swinging 60s. Oh, right. Bit of a swinger, were you? Oh, yes, 40 years ago. Mind you, I've not lost it. I reckon once a swinger, always a swinger, don't you? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Oh, I, I could kick my legs up with the best of them. Don't think because I'm in a chair, I'm past it. Oh, I'm sure you're not. We had a lovely couple from the black country staying with us before we came away. She was 58, had a plastic hip, but that didn't stop her going like the clappers, did it? Oh, no. Oh, well, you've got plenty to read. That's good here, isn't it? I bought three magazines with me and I've gone through them like a dose of salt. Oh, here, take a couple. I've got a stack of them in the apartment. Oh, thanks, love. I don't want you to think that's all I come over for. Not at all. Plenty more where they came from. Here we are. Alan Titmarch. It's a gardener, isn't it? I like him. I'll have a look at this one, if that's all right. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? I'd let him dig my garden any day. Perhaps you'd like to come up and have a good old rummage through Jacqueline's Jilly Coopers? Loosen up. Oh, I, I might take you up on that. It'd be nice to have a civilised conversation for a change. I'm a widower, so I don't get much these days. Oh, we can soon put that right, can't we? Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, so glad you made it. 
Thought for a minute you'd had cold feet. Cold feet? No. One of my daughters has got flat feet. She's been off work a year with them. Now, what would you like to drink? Oh, whatever's going. Go through, go through. I think Jacqueline started without us. <laughs> Where do you want me to put this book? Go through. Go through. Oh. Right. Let me out of here. Oh, dear. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Slight misunderstanding. I should have known when I read that mucky garden book. Bloody pervert. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. Let me out. I think we've been talking at cross purposes. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, so sorry, oh, man. We locked up the pair of you. I've never, never oh, seen that. Before. You can't knock a coconut down every time. Tea? Oh. Well, hello, Saturday Night Fever. Is that the bloke that was wearing the thong yesterday? Yes, yeah, quite a natty dresser. I've got a swimsuit with a thong. Mm. It's very summery, but it can ride up a bit, if you know what I mean. Uh, excuse me, could you cancel my order for the blancmange? <laughs> Miss Donna. Oh, any news? You and Jacqueline greatly missed last night. A session with the MSA, Middlesbrough Swingers Association, was a resounding success. New members, Edith and Eddie Gibson, are very much into anal. So that's two more for our September bottoms-up evening. Oh, smashing. Good news, Alan's glasses turned up in the Nardini's hot tub. Bad news, Keith Bartlett's homemade lubricant has stripped the leather off my three-seater. Oh, dear. Another screaming orgasm? Oh, yeah. Kate! Kate, hold on, I'm coming! <laughs> <laughs> Martin, how the devil are you? Oh, my God, I'm sorry, I thought... No worries! Are you off to the karaoke? We're nearly done here. Yes, I'll... See, see you downstairs. Yeah, that's it. What the bloody hell? Who's oh, there? Come on, get on with it. I've only got a bit of tape left. What the hell are you playing at? What am I playing at? What about you? You're the ones on Doggers Beach. Doggers what? People having sex in public. Well, don't tell me you didn't know. <sighs> Madge! Mel! What a lovely surprise seeing you here. Jesus Christ, I might have known you'd be here. Hello. Oh, we've not missed any action, have we? No, I think the one in the wheelchair is a bit shy. Oh, you did know this was a dogging beach, didn't you? We don't even know what dogging is. Well, it's happening all around you. Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, what am I looking at? I can't see anything. Well, thank God for that. Your stomach's a bit dicky at the best of times. Come on, princess. Bloody pervert. Uh, I can hear a squelching noise. Come on, we're off. Animals, a lot of you. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Up for a threesome? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Yes, just makes you want to dive in. Well, they do say if you stand under a waterfall, it's the most invigorating natural massage you can get. Sounds good to me. Such a shame I didn't bring my bathers. Oh, if you don't fancy that, I once did a course on erotic massage. I could oil you up and give you a rub down. No bother. She's very good with her hands. Well, I did bring me cosy. So if I don't see you in there, I'll know where you are. Brandy? So, forgive me for prying, but are you two an item? No, not really. Well, kind of. I mean, we're sort of very good friends. Right. You have an arrangement. No, no, no. We met in a self-help therapy group. Uh-huh. 
and Katie's fine with this therapy group. Katie? Your wife? Oh, Kate, no, um... Kate and I have separated. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Still, you've got your therapy group to keep you occupied, haven't you? Look, we'll get straight to the point. I think we're all singing from the same hymn sheet. Jacqueline's had a lot of fantasies about you since we first met. Has she? Oh, yeah. OK. And I can be very passive with the right sensitive kind of man. Oh, my God. What say we have a few drinks in Neptune's tonight, loosen up and all go back to our apartment for a bit of therapy. Hi! Are you doing? I'm coming! <laughs> 